Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Milliken's Bend, located in Madison Parish, Louisiana. Queen Union Colonel Herman Lieb and his newly recruited African-American 9th Louisiana Infantry and parts of the 10th Illinois Cavalry. In total, they comprised about 1,100 men along with a gunboat facing off against Confederate General Henry E. McCulloch and his 1,500 men known as McCulloch's Brigade. This occurred on June 7, 1863. Milliken's Bend had been used the first few months of 1863 as a supply base for Grant and his invasion. However, the rampant disease and the successes of the Union meant it lost its value and instead became a training facility for African-American units. The units were not meant for frontline duty, rather they were to be used for labor and guard duty, meaning their rifle training was minimal for the Army. Union Colonel Herman Lieb was commanding one of these new units, the 9th Louisiana Infantry along with members of the 10th Illinois Cavalry. Their purpose on that day was to scout towards Richmond, the Confederate capital, and determine the location of the Confederate Army. Unfortunately for Lieb, his units were not so lucky, and they came across the Tallulah Railroad Depot and found themselves facing a Confederate cavalry attack. Reacting quickly, the Green Union troops successfully stopped the Confederate forces for now, pushing the cavalry members back. Realizing he was out of position, Union Commander Lieb ordered his men back to Milliken's Bend. When he arrived, Lieb sent word back to the Union Command that they needed the 23rd Iowa Infantry to reinforce their position. Later that day, the 23rd arrived with Rear Admiral David Porter's gunboat named the Choctaw. McCall's brigade was sent out as a screening force towards Milliken Bend where the Confederate troops pushed into the Union lines. The Confederate forces inflicted severe damage against the newly trained African-American Union troops, pushing them back behind the levee. All may have been lost at this point if U.S. Navy ship Choctaw hadn't arrived on site and followed up its appearance with a cannon attack. The Union used this covering fire to move behind the walls. Even with the gunboats laying a heavy barrage on the cavalry, more than 35% of the African American troops were killed, leaving them under strength as well as under trained. When the battle was over, U.S. Brigadier General Elias Dennis reported the African American troops under his command demonstrated that, and I quote, it is impossible for men to show greater gallantry than the Negro troops of this fight, unquote. The resulting casualties were of 101 killed, 285 wounded, and 10 missing. While the Confederates lost a total of 185 men, with 44 killed, 131 wounded, and 10 missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.